got this great idea for a way to start our video. It's going to be like a movie trailer, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In a world where the Star Wars detectors thought they were safe to return to Brickitect, the team that brought you Star Wars Month brings you June 2020 Bobby Fett's Rocket Ship. This movie has not yet been rated. Not Bobby Fett. Bubba Fett. Not Bobby Fett. No, it's actually Bobby Fett's, actually, I think. No, it isn't a Bobby Fett. I think it's Bobby Fett's. Am I? Bobby, Bobby Fett's? I'm pretty sure. I looked at the box. Here we are, guys. Bobby Fett's rocket ship. No, not Bobby Fett. Just go with it, Clark Man. No. They want triggered. Come on. No, I'm triggered. You don't want to trigger the Star Wars detectors? No, this is Bobby Fett. No son of mine will not trigger Star Wars detectors, Clark Man. Bobby Fett's rocket ship looking amazing. I'm and speaking of Bobby Fetz, he's in there right now, and I want to show you something. This is really cool because as this goes up, he flips around. It's like he's in a crazy recliner. I think it's like the Star Wars recliner in there. Get inside him back. Oh, what are you showing down here? I'm showing Carbonite. Oh, yeah. Solo. My best friend. Get on Solo. He's in Carbonite. Wow, Princess Leia just threw that like she didn't even care. Speaking of that, we do have a Princess Leia 20th anniversary <laughs> figure in here. There's Han Solo and Carbonite. He's going somewhere. Where he's going, no one knows. Not even the Star Wars detectors. What is really happening right now? If you guys actually want to see what Han Solo looks like, there he is. We've got Alien Bug Dude here. And Alien Bug Dude number two from, I think, the 15th Star Wars movies where they originated from. Ooh. But they were around for quite a while. I must get into the ship. Get out of here, Bubba Fett. Bobby Fett's. Get out of here, Bobby Fett. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one in here. I'm You're supposed to be the one that makes up the fake names, Clark, man. I don't know why I've taken this role, but I kind of like it. There is what Bobby looks like on the front of the box. Bobby! So. Bobby! Barbecue's ready. There's All right, the ship. I'm going up. Wow. I forgot about that part where Han Solo stole the Slave 1 in that movie. Which number was that, Clark, man? Jeez, you don't know your Star Wars history? No. Everyone knows that was Star Wars Episode 74. Oh. Come on now. You can take that off, of course. So this is how you put the guy in. And it's weird. It, it seems counterintuitive to put him in there like that. Like, you, you immediately want to put him in facing forward, but when he's flying, it all makes sense. Yeah. Let's see the recliner in action. <laughs> there it goes. Before he flies off, I'll just show here that we've got two missiles in the front. And if you spin that around, Clark, man. I was looking all over the back here to figure out how to fire these. It's these. So you take that, ah. shoot it over there. Uh, and if we turn that towards Clark Man just a little bit, hey, you weren't supposed to block it. Come on now. Oh my gosh. I thought you had a hold of it. <gasps> what? I thought you had a hold of it. I didn't. Oh, it's falling apart. I just wanted to do one video where you could show it fully complete before it gets destroyed. I think we're okay though. I think we're okay. So here's what Boba Fett looks like. I'm getting a back scratch right now. So I'm gonna try to extend this review as long as possible. There's his face. There's his back. Looking pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. He's pretty upset, though, that he lost his ship to Han Solo. It's really crazy that George Lucas wrote that into the script, but it makes sense. Here's a better look at the carbonate thing now that Clark is let go of it. And, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. These kind of go around like this. We'd love to display this, but unless I'm missing something, it really doesn't stand up on its own. Am I missing something here? Let's go ahead and put Boba Fett back in there real quick and we'll give this thing a thorough testing. I got my cameraman helping me here, so bear with us on that. Maybe if I just balance it perfectly. <gasps> I got a clerk, man. That's the way it's intended right there, dude. Yeah. How do I get that on my shelf though? Because I want to put this on display and I don't know if that's enough of a, a footprint there to make it last on those metal grates that are up there, but there it is. Looking good. <gasps> That was shitless. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, not recommended. It's really awkward when you have it down like this, though, and you have a character in there. I have Boba Fett back in. And, um, yeah, it's just really awkward. Also, we've got a scratch on our glass there. Yeah. Son of a biscuit. That doesn't look good yeah, at all. Yeah, broke the glass. Apparently. Now that we got the Slave 1 displayed the way it's supposed to be, I guess, we'll bring other guys in here so we can get an official look at this. We've got Princess Leia, we've got Han Solo, Han and Carbonite, alien dude from movie number one, alien dude from movie number two, and there it is. $120 later. What do you guys think? Was it worth it? You think so? People tell me I should have got the UCS one. I didn't get a chance to get it, but I do think this looks cool. I wish there was a way to set it up, and maybe there is. I just want to have it. I want to have it like they have it on the box. Is that asking so much, Clark, man? There's pieces falling off the back, so let's quit while we're ahead here. This build isn't the end of Star Wars Month, though, per se. What I really love to do, and my idea for this video, 
was to kind of set this stuff up. We have everything on the floor over here that we built this month. And I kept it here, not only because I'm a slob, but because I wanted to have an opportunity to take all these things and make a really cool showcase out of everything here at the end of the month, which I think now is the perfect time to do, being that we built our last set. Yeah. So here it comes. Here comes the Tyrant's typewriter. We'll just keep setting everything up here and we'll try to do something really cool for you guys. The second one. Yikes! It's heavy! Can it make it over without break? Oh God. That got me worried. We'll even put minifigs and everything up here. I think this is going to be really great. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. That's custom. <laughs> I'm going to slide these back a little bit, Clark, man, because we'll put all the small stuff in front of here. Look at those big ships we built, man. Yeah, look we did pretty good for one month, I think. I got the Palm Racer over here, sir. Looking cool. Palm Racer? Palm Racer? Let me try to set this up so I'm not tracking you guys all over the place here. I got this thing. This little thing. Nice. Thing Imperial nice. dropship. Yeah, Imperial dropship. Love it. I love it. Kylo Ren, where are you? I'm looking for Kylo Ren to put it in his little ship here. Where'd he go? <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> he probably got played with. Well, there's our Vader. Yeah, we just... Oh, here you go. I need the one with no, with no helmet. That's him right there. Is that the Carl Ren you were looking for? Yes. Okay. Is there one in here? We should have another one, right? Yeah. Oh, no. What? No Carl Ren in there. Is there a Carl Ren in here? No Carl Ren in there. <laughs> Carl, where are you? <laughs> Carl Ren. I found one. I found this guy. Yes. Oh, that thing. We shouldn't even put that anywhere near the front. Also, some pieces fell off of that, I believe. Uh... We'll just uh, we'll just say that was there. Where's the best place to put this at? How about right back here? Ooh, yep, so that's heavy. just about perfect. Uh, oh my gosh! I got a dark okay, uh, let's move this forward. You can put it right there behind the X-wing. Uh, oh snap! Oh! Uh, what is this? MNR Productions house over here? My yeah. gosh! Did we lose a soldier? Yeah, we we lost oh. this dude. That stormtrooper. Yeah, totally lost him. Okay, we gotta get Grievous and Grievous' speeder. We need this dude. It's like a trip down memory lane over here. We have um, people standing in the corners, the big guys standing okay, in the corners. Okay, I'm down with that. Alright, this guy's gonna go in the corner. Okay. In the corner. Here, so we have this next to him. That's Very nice. Oh, back when it started. This seems like so long ago, Clark, man. Dark Mirror's TIE Fighter. Yeah, put that with the castle. Yeah, it's Sweet. Done. But it has to hide though, so it's going in the garage. Oh, well, we got a little, a little Anakin over here. Little Anakin. We're stopping next to him. Very nice. Let's get all the minifigs up there. We got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we need the Mandalorians. Yeah, we do. Try to keep the sets together, I guess. Although it doesn't really matter. Here's Kylo Ren over here, Clark, man. Yeah. I found him. Right there. Yes. Oh, oh gosh. Man. Mando down. You know where this guy came from? Um, no. Hmm. The hardest part of setting this play up, I have no idea where some of these guys came from. Where's this guy from? Built so many things, I can't even remember. Let's just put him out in the wastelands over here. Here we go. Holy cow. There it is, my friends. That is one month of building Star Wars sets. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yep, the, the whole backlog of Star The whole backlog. That was, that was a full shelf. Literally, that's all we have left of Star Wars. The top shelf is empty. And it's all here on the table. All kinds of awesome videos and good memories. Many, many triggering moments for you guys, I'm sure. I hope you had fun with it. We certainly did. Man, that's a lot of stuff we built, Clarky. Yeah. I don't think there's been a month where we've built that many things in a 30-day yeah. time Thanks period. Thanks to me for building all the old sets. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ego. You did build a lot, though. Yeah. You built most of this stuff, honestly. Yeah. I helped you here and there. A lot of stuff we built kind of while we were watching TV and... Mm -hmm. Having a good time. Yeah, I built that during TV. Yeah, I built that. And yeah. You built that, and mm -hmm. we built that together. We built that together. We built that together. I built this one. I myself. built that. You built this one yourself? Yeah. Okay. We built that one together? Mm -hmm. I built that one mostly. Yeah. This one, you built most of that? Yeah. These little ones, you built like all of these little things that yeah. we have here. This one you started, but was a little tricky. The buildable figures, you built no problem at all, which is incredible because I didn't think you had the ability to do that but you proved me wrong mm -hmm. you're becoming quite a builder man yeah 
And this is evidence of that. Let's get a cool picture here of this whole big thing here. As I walk into the Minecraft set we have yet to build, because Star Wars Month took over, Clark is getting one final adjustment here, and then we'll come out, and I'll try to get back far enough to show you guys the whole setup here. I think I need to keep coming back. <laughs> there it is. A month of Star Wars builds, Clark, man. Yeah. Do you think that we'll ever be able to do this again? Yeah. Will we ever be able to do a month of Star Wars? I don't know, because that's a lot of sets. That was like a couple years worth of stuff that we, we were acquiring and getting in the mail and stuff, and I kept putting it off to like Star Wars Week, which um, became Star Wars Month with all of this stuff. So now we're finally clear of the backlog, which is the ultimate goal yeah. is to defeat the backlog. Clarky's even been working on more stuff too. Yeah. Coming soon to a Brick Tech channel near you. He built this by himself for the weekend. Did a great job with that. June's going to be a big month here for just getting things organized. I have a lot of changes that are going to be made back here. There's going to be everything. Everywhere you see, things are going to be much better. The floor is going to be coming back again which is amazing. I didn't even realize we had carpet down here. As much as I love Star Wars Month, and hopefully you did as well, I'm really excited to be moving on to the next chapter, which is going to be a month of cleaning this place up, getting it organized, changing things around, making it look awesome in videos, which is always a good thing. Instead of having these empty backlog shelves, let's have some sets back there displayed. Let's get my city started. Let's get my stuff organized. And let's just develop this calmness upon us, something that I think we both could use. So I want to thank you guys so much for enduring this month. If you're a Star Wars detector, if you're still here after 32 days of Star Wars, my gosh, you guys are troopers. Yeah. Storm troopers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day. And we will see you in the next Star Wars video, which is going to be a while probably. Clark Vader. <laughs> Is that your outro? Hmm. <laughs>